Do you think Tim Morning is nice or religious album? Um, I don't think it's an overtly religious album, and, and, and it wasn't our intent to make a religious album because it is uh, uh, Christmas music for the most part. Uh, it has a it has its source in that, uh, but I think that the best. I think Christmas is largely a secular holiday, even um, you know around the world, uh, it, as well as being a religious holiday as well. And I think that the music uh, and even the the, the story, uh, the words that we hear around Christmas, uh, telling the story of, 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 of Christmas, and the songs that we hear, have such an uh, emotional attachment to us, probably you know, from childhood, uh, and that. The, Material that we're using is, is really much more obscure stuff. A lot of the carols have not been heard in the United States, and then the arrangements are very shoegazy and, and different. But the melodies are so haunting and uh, filled with longing, you know. And I think it may be something that that we are entirely secular, atheistic, or agnostic might not think about how uh, the, that music, which is you know, based from a, a religious source, I mean, just not even just our album, just the Christmas music in general, really the most beautiful songs are filled with this sense of human longing, and that makes great music, you know, whether it's religious or not, and I think it is just a very human thing to long for. Life and the people that we've lost in our life, and uh, there's just a very, you know, the, the, the bittersweet is a good word for it because there's a, there's, a, there's a beauty to it, and also these melodies and, and also a very uh, uh, an ache, you know, and uh, that's just a, the kind of music that we like. So uh, it's not. Of as, a, as a more religious album than it, than it might be, is that all, all the spoken word is in French, which is sort of the happy coincidence of things. It's Sylvia joining the band, who is a native French speaker, and my initial thoughts were to do uh, all of the spoken word with the uh, ambient, you know, shoegazing guitar uh, underscoring uh, in English. But then uh, I thought it would sound so beautiful in French uh, that I asked Sylvia to do to do it in French, and the, uh, the text that we used, uh, we really researched to find like an older, like a centuries old, in the same way that sort of that the songs are, in a, in, a, in a more ancient and archaic version of French, so it has a more, uh, it's more loaded and has more poetry to it around the roof. Um, and I think, it, although it may be a different experience for French listeners, uh, although we've gotten some very nice reviews from France, thank you. Uh, I think that it's that 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 the the French spoken word also mutes the possibility of it being more religious, mostly to an English uh, listening audience. And I don't really speak French, you know, just uh, uh, phonetically when needed, and a little bit. Uh, so the sound. Uh, washes over you in a different way. I think all the little echoes of English in a very uh, whispery way that help us get our bearings uh, in, the, uh, in the spoken word section, but it's, it's in French and so it washes over us in a different way than it might in different way English. So I think that also removes the album from being uh, overtly religious. Just that that wasn't the intention. The intention is to provide again, like we were talking about up at the cloisters, this very contemplative, gapless 69 minutes of uh, of almost like a, a radio broadcast that comes from a strange uh, 
shortwave station that wafts to you in, 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 in these short days of the year. Although, you can listen to the record at any time of year, it has that contemplative feeling. It's just, so it's really more meditative, I think, in that sense, um, than it is over every religious, at least in this maybe we're seeing that people 